Hello and welcome to Bitstrip Theatre. Sarah now has a castle. She likes it in her castle. She has cookouts every Friday. Sarah loved her solitude in her castle. But one day, there was a sound. What was that? <laughs> it was Sam coming to visit. But Sarah did not enjoy having guests. Sarah, please let me in. No! Undeterred, Sam keeps trying to hang out with Sarah. Come on, Sarah, please let me in. No! And so she threw Sam in the dungeon. He remained there for some time, but eventually Sarah became bored. This is boring. So Sarah used her witchcraft to make Sam do her bidding. <laughs> but Sam escaped, only to be caught again. Oh. Sam became a submissive subject in Sarah's kingdom. Here's my weekly potato tax. <laughs> Soon Sarah discovered that she was lonely. This is so not cool anymore. Suddenly she has an idea. I've got an idea! And thus Sam was allowed to hang out with her until she accidentally decapitated him. But not in real life. What even was that story? Cool. Yeah, no problem, dude. <laughs> Holly was alone in the world. Nothing ever happened to her. She always hoped that one day Something amazing would happen. My cruel world! <laughs> when suddenly, Holly fell into a time vortex. She came out to find herself. She became best friends with herself. They did everything together. But one day, Holly and Holly were trapped indoors. They decided to kick back and watch TV. But there was nothing good on. Holly and Holly couldn't agree on what to watch on Netflix. And an epic fight began. Safe to say both sides were evenly matched. Their fight kept escalating. <laughs> you, can you not? Can you do that on again? Their fight kept escalating, reached all sorts of new heights, until Holly unleashed the power of the dark side on Holly. Holly made her escape back through the time portal. But she went through the wrong time. But it was all a dream anyway. Or was it? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Seriously, that's it? Sarah. Yeah. Business Amelia is all about business. She was a good, hard worker and always went above and beyond when she could. That is why when she heard of promotions, she was sure she would get it. The day of promotions arrived, but she didn't get the promotion. Monica did. Amelia was furious. She deserved that promotion. Monica loved her new power. So Amelia began planning to overthrow Monica's regime. But one day, Amelia was called into Monica's office. They argued a bit, but Monica had a super high profile assignment for Amelia. Amelia rushed to do the job. It could be the assignment to define her career. And she did the job well. They became best friends. They got up to some serious office pranks. But they got caught more than once. Monica got fired. Amelia was also fired. But in the end, they found work as friends. This has been It's Strip Theatre. With Christian being the narrator, me being Sarah, and Sterling being Sarah. Or no, I'm I'm Sam. <laughs> Sterling is Sarah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. All right. Ready.
Wait, so who am I again? <laughs> You're Sarah. Oh. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. One bit of color, turtle neck, that's the kind. Cause when you're wearing the one special.